Hi, welcome to Miss Jessica's Scratch Class Lesson 2. Last time I showed you how to create a sprite and how to change this custom. Today I'm going to show you how to create a project from scratch, um, from start to finish. So go to File, you go to File, and you want to create a new one, new project, select New. Now, every time you create a new project, you'll always see this cat. It's called Scratch Cat on the stage. This area is called the stage and the sprite is always, so the first sprite is always called sprite 1 by default. So what you want to do today is to, I wanted to show you how to turn your picture into a sprite customs. Let's do that. So I'm going to remove this default sprite, right click, and just select delete. Next, click the paint new sprite button. You do that, and even though we're going to take a pictures of ourselves, so we're we're not going to draw or import any pictures here, but we still need to add something to the paint editor. So when you click OK, it wouldn't complain. So add a, just a simple dot and click OK. We successfully created a sprite with a tiny dot as its customs. When I talk about custom, it means the look and feel of this sprite. So the first customs, which says custom one is just a tiny dot. So what we want is we want to take a picture of ourselves. You click camera, you, you click camera, you can see your own face, and then just click the camera button to take a picture. So look at the camera and click this and that's it. So I'm going to click done and I'm going to remove the first costume and use this as my customs. Also, I want to turn this sprite into, rename this sprite to me, and I'm going to leave just the custom just the way it was. Also, you can edit the pictures. You can even edit your own, your own face. But before I do that, I want to show you how to shrink, again, how to shrink this picture, because it's kind of big for the, for the stage. Click the shrink sprite and just click it a couple of times until it's to the size that that you like. I like to click uh, this is about the right size. And and when I'm done, just click anywhere to get back to the normal cursor. And then I want to edit my costumes. So select edit. You can see that here's my big face. I'm going to to crop or to cut away the background as much as I could. So select the, here I'm going to show you, click the select tools and just select several, select this um, rectangles and hit the delete button on your keyboard. Find the delete button and hit it. It's going to delete that. So I'm going to do, I'm going to repeat it a couple times. Hit the delete buttons. And this is this is how you can crop or trim your picture easily. So say, and you can also use the eraser to to trim your pictures. So I'm going to show you how to do that. And the easiest way to trim the pictures, I think, is to go ahead and trim it or cut away with the rectangle first and then use the eraser. So click the eraser. You can erase this line. And I'm going to erase this cube around my head. Over here as well. I think this looks good enough. So I'm going to click OK. So there you go. See, this is me, and what you then after you're done, you can drag yourself around. So this is you. I mean, I'm sure you can come up with some crazy picture of yourself. Another cool stuff is that you can actually put. Let me see. You can I, I can add some cool things in my face. So if I you can do import, click import, and what I like to check out is the the things folder. And I believe there is a glass, oh, maybe a, a funky pink hair. 
Gannett air hair, sorry. And you see how big, how tiny this hair is. But no worry, you can grow it just by clicking the hair until it fits my hair. That's good. And and then I'm going to actually cut away the bottom so it looks more natural. Again, use the select tool, select this section, and hit delete. See, that's good. So I hit OK. Now this is my face. And also, what cool stuff you could do is that you could add sound to the sprite. And we could try that now. Click the sounds tab and then you can import a sound or you can record your own sound. Let's try to record our own voice. Make sure you have a speaker connected to your computer when you do this. When you click record, click the record button. When you have a, a microphone connected and you're, it's scratch detected, then you will see when it's you talking after it's, it's doing this. So I'm going to stop it and record again. Record, testing, testing, stop, and I click OK. After I do that, there's a recording shows here and to hear it just click the play button testing testing and also so this is how you record your own sound clip to import some really interesting sound clips you click import and there's a whole bunch of crazy um, sound effects the door creak water pop typing and also, there's, um, I like music, music loop. So there's drip drops, drum sets, and guitar chords. Also oh, hip hop. You get the idea. So here I selected hip hop. You can try to play it. That's my Mac. Okay, try to click it. And you can stop it if it's too long. So we're almost done for today's lesson and next time I want to show you how to how to make your sprite move around by itself. But before we do that, I want to show you how to save the project. To save this project, just go and you can click save. When you do that, it's going to ask you, if it's the first time, it's going to ask you to enter a file name. So I'm just going to see knee spike. 